Next news is out of the USA. Um, Sikhs are the third most targeted religious group after Jews, Muslims, FBI reports. So this is very interesting to me because this is an actual FBI released report where they get all the information from all the police all across uh, the country and they put everything together showing statistics of hate crimes um, by race, by religion, um, and various various things of that. So in this article, we're actually discussing the, the hate crimes based on religion, um, not just hate crimes in general, because a lot of people I know get confused and want to say, no, it's, it's, you know, this group or that group that has the most hate uh, crimes on them. But we're talking about religion. And what it showed in 2018 data was that there were 835 hate crimes committed against Jews, followed by 188 hate crimes committed against Muslims and 60 hate crimes committed against um, Sikhs. So, um, yeah, it's just showing that um, still in, in 2018. Why, why do you think that is? Why do you think? Okay, so Jews, I know why that is. Uh, but mm -hmm. I don't know if the, so Jews are number one, base, uh, Muslims are number two, and then Sikhs are number three. But I don't know if this if they're saying this is based on religion. I don't know if the Jew the the fact that the Jews are the targeted number one. Uh, I don't think that is based on religion. I think Jews are mostly targeted based on uh, people that are biggest against their ethnicity or race or whatever right so i don't think i think most of the hate crimes that are against the jews is not because people are against you know people that practice judaism i think it's a mostly a racist thing i don't know maybe i'm wrong though right uh, so if it is based on religion i don't think the jews should be on this list um but maybe i'm wrong but why do you think number three or six what do you think like is it that is there a chance that it's because i, I give me I, i'll give you two hypotheses are they are do people confuse them with muslims yes that's it okay or number two is that i don't think like that there are that many biggest that are specifically a six right like so i think it's mostly because they confuse them with muslims and because they are so visible about their ideology right like i most muslims do not have most muslim men at least do not have anything that identifies them as muslim right uh but Sikhs, they have like the so many things that you could visually see that they are different right from other people around them but i do think like like if you i mean i do follow a lot of content from people that are bigots to just see their mentality i haven't seen any group of people they're like you know what i'm a, i i hate Sikhs. i specifically hate Sikhs, right it's um it's either just you know foreigner or they're just xenophobic in general or they're mostly or they're if, if some people are specific about a certain group of people it's either muslims or jews right I don't know anybody specifically focused on Sikhs, so it must be a conf is so the the people that are con targeting Sikhs is either because they're so visually obviously obviously different from other people, or it's because they're confusing them with Muslims. Do you guys what do you guys think about my guess there? I think it's absolutely they're confusing them with Muslims. We actually reported, and this is just anecdotal. I'm not I'm not using this as an argument to back up why I believe this, but we, we you and I did a uh, report on an incident where somebody had attacked a Sikh um, convenience store owner in Oregon, um, USA. And uh, he, the guy did it because he thought he was a Muslim and he kept saying, go back to your own country. And mm. uh, as his punishment, he actually had to take part in a Sikh festival um, oh, yeah, and learn that. about about Sikhs, uh, which I, I found a very interesting form of punishment, but um, we, we do, we do see it, and we often, if, you, if it ever gets reported, if you ever hear about it, I'm interested to see if other people also, you know, admit, well, I thought he was a Muslim. I mean, that, that doesn't make it better. It's horrible, but um, I do believe that's why. Yeah, by the way, um, for people that say, oh, Armin, where's your source for that information? And the fact that Ali just gave, gave an anecdote instead of data, that's why we call it, we're not, we're, we're guessing. That's why we call, I called it a Okay, uh, you, Wait. in the live chat, Chris has confirmed, like, there was actually a study done that oh. confirms your theory. The majority oh. of Americans could not tell the difference between a Sikh and a Muslim. Okay, 
Well, the, the reason why I call it a hypothesis is because I didn't have any studies, right? I didn't call it a theory. I called it a hypothesis, right? But I don't know. The, the study doesn't... Okay, yeah, they can't. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Um, but another thing I want to warn people about, I always see when, when Sikhs are being targeted, so there's always this group of people like, oh, but Sikhs are oh, so great. I love the Sikhs. They're generally really good people. And it might seem like you're being nice, but I I just warn people not make general statements like that. Um, I I think it's it's not you know it's the opposite of not condemning people uh, for their you know for the group that they belong to or making hasty generalizations like that you know in a negative way. The up the you shouldn't respond to that by doing it the opposite way. And making a claim about an entire g group of people uh, in, a, in a positive way. Oh, I love gay people. The gay people are all so great. Uh, really? All of them? Like, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, oh, I love sick people. Sick people are so great. Mm, I'm I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they have their fair share of assholes, right? Like, I, it's so interesting. Every time somebody asks me, like, oh, Army, where are you from? Like, um,. Originally, you mean originally? Yeah, like, oh, I'm from, Ir I was born in Iran. Like, oh, I love Iranian people. Like, really? You do? All of them? Wow, there's something wrong with you. If you love all of them, because I, have you met all of them? It's so weird. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's so, ch uh, it's so, I, it's, I, I feel disgusted. You know, it just feels like you're just trying so hard to be nice. And it just comes off as childish and a very, in a very immature way when you make such a general statement about an entire group of people. Anyways, the top common saying, sad, Sikhs are the gems of our society. See, I, I predicted this right before <coughs> I saw it. I knew it. Some are saying that's not the story Christians tell. What does that got to do with Christians? I don't know. Anyways, um, by the way, th thank you, Shopin, for noticing the thing in the live chat. Okay, yep. but from Chris. And Chris, thank you for pointing out. Uh, actually, Chris, to, can you link to the study? Because claiming this study exists, um, or maybe people could just search for it. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.